find out how we took the best gyro and made it even better. So the all new SF10 Pro is a 10, 20, 32 channel system. What does that mean? Well, you've got 10 physical outputs you can plug servos into. 32 means you've got 32 inputs into the Smooth Flight 10 Pro. So you can take any major radio, whether it's got a small or a large number of channels, and you can get all 32 inputs into this device. Now, what does the 20 mean? Well, with advanced radios, expandable technology, you can actually take two of these and you can expand up to 20 channels. So that means with a single input or a dual input cable, you can have two 10 or 20 channels, all fully gyro controlled if you use advanced radios, expand technology. What does that mean? Well, if you have two of these, you can actually use the first one for channels one to 10 and the second one for channels 11 to 20. So if you've got a 20 channel radio, you can have 20 high powered gyro controlled outputs for your model. Now I mentioned high powered, what does high powered mean? Well, we've designed the Smooth Flight 10 or SF10 Pro with an XT30 connector, which is capable of up to 60 amps. More than enough headroom for every model out there. If you imagine you're using two of these, you can actually run 120 amps out to your servos. That gives you, with the addition of a multi-switch or with a T-switch if you want telemetry, dual battery redundancy and high power output to your servos. Redundancy is a key feature with the Smooth Flight 10 Pro. On the side here, we have a dual receiver input. So P1, P2, you can run dual receivers and you can run those from any major radio brand. That includes Spectrum, Jetty, FR Sky, Powerbox, Pataba, JR, Graupner and Multiplex systems and any other radio system that uses the SRXL protocol or the SBUS protocol as well. Set up with the Smooth Flight 10 Pro could not be easier. It's one, two, three step process. Step one, plug your receivers in and set up your model in your radio. Step two, plug your servos into the top here up to channel 10 like you would any receiver. And set up the model so that everything is moving how you want it to. Step three, push the button on the front here and the LED will start blinking. Blue blinking, you pull your elevator down and let it go. Green blinking, you move your aileron right and let it go. Red blinking, you move your rudder right and let it go. White blinking, you flick your master switch on and off. The system will then calibrate and you're good to go fly. Just make sure you double check your directions. Smooth Flight 10 Pro features an auto protocol system. So all you do is you plug your receivers into P1 and P2 and the system after three seconds will find your protocol as long as it's output from your receiver. Once it's found that protocol, it locks that down. So the next time it boots up, it'll automatically go to that protocol as a standard. With SF10 Pro's architecture, we use a generation five 32 bit IC, which gives you lightning fast connection between your receiver and your servos. And we do that on both receivers. What does that mean? Well, with both receivers, we're actually monitoring both packets. We're the only one in the industry who does this. We monitor both receivers simultaneously and we get all of the receiver data constantly, giving you lightning fast speed to your servos. Smooth Flight 10 features the same auto gain control or AGC that the Smooth Flight 16 and the ARXL had. What is AGC? Well, AGC is a very simple algorithm which is built into every Smooth Flight product. What does it do? It dynamically controls the gain for each output and each axis, depending on how you're flying your model. So you may have experienced in the past, if you're flying along and your gain's too high, your plane might start doing this. Our Smooth Flight systems sense this movement and dial the gain back for that axis. So if it's only on ailerons, your aileron gain will dial down. If it's on elevator, it'll dial down. Once that stops, it brings the gain back up for you. No pitot tube necessary, no GPS necessary. It all is built in. So auto gain, what does that mean for you as the pilot? Well, auto gain gives you the maximum amount of gain for your model 
at any speed or flight characteristic. Pretty cool, huh? One of the new features of the SF10 Pro is the ability to adjust the model feel and what we're calling the groove. Now these two will help adjust and mold to whatever your flying style is. If you want to fly a scale model, we've got you covered. If you want to hover, we've got you covered. If you want to do flips and tumbles, we've got you covered. Smooth Flight 10 Pro allows you to easily and dynamically change how your model feels to you. The SF10 Pro is the first in the Smooth Flight range that features a heading hold mode. Now heading hold might scare a couple of pilots or may scare a few pilots, but the way we've designed heading hold means you will always be in control of your model. The way our heading hold works is heading hold is only when your sticks are around center. As soon as you move your sticks away, you will have complete control of your aircraft. Making sure that heading hold will stick you into those positions, making sure that you are constantly, constantly in control of your model, while also giving you the added feature of a heading hold system. Like previous Smooth Flights, Smooth Flight 10 Pro features a vibrant color touchscreen display. This is a faster touchscreen or a faster display than previous models, giving you seamless control between your SF10 Pro and your data reader. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked what you saw and want more information, you can head over to our website, boomerrc.com or for the US site, us.boomerrc.com. If you want more videos, you can check out our Facebook page, Advanced Radio, or you can head over to our YouTube channel, Rick Gel Boomer RC. Thanks guys, and stay tuned for more videos.